Hey everyone, I'm Laura from Cherubs Chalks Interiors. Welcome to our channel and to our latest tutorial video where I'm going to show you how I created this gorgeous bone inlay inspired piece. This is a modern oak sideboard which I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. I thought that it had great potential so I picked it up and brought it back to the workshop. Now it's time to choose some colours. I've gone for the vibrant English ivy green and then a contrasting colour which is a sandbar which will be used as a stencil. These are both from the chalk mineral paint line from the Dixie Bell range. So I've already gone ahead and filled in some of the handle holes. This is because I intend to use a different type of handle here and so I don't want these original holes to be seen. I'm then going to sand the whole piece using a 120 grit sandpaper in my electric sander. Once I've scuff sanded the whole piece, I'll go ahead and clean everything using white lightning rinsed off with some plain water. Now it's time to apply the base colour, which is English Ivy. I'm going to give it a quick shake and then I'm going to use my angled mini to apply two coats of this all over. Once that's dry, it's time to start applying the stencil. So I've cut up my bone inlay stencil as this makes it easier when I'm using the small sections on different areas. I'm then going to get it into the position that I want it and use some masking tape to hold this in place. Now I'm using my best dang brush to step along the sandbar onto the stencil. I pick up a small amount of paint onto the brush and then I dab off the excess onto a shop cloth. When applying any stencil, less is always more. This will help you avoid any bleed through and create a nice detailed design. I'm now going to work on building up the stencil design using the same piece on the opposite drawer and then other parts on other areas. I'm going for a rustic finish, so I'm now going to distress the edges and then go all over lightly with my electric sander using a 120 grit sandpaper. Once I've finished sanding, I'll wipe off any sanding dust and now it's time to seal. I've chosen to use Easy Peasy Wax. As its name suggests, this is literally the easiest finish that you can use. I simply spray it on and then using a natural bristle brush, I just brush it into the paint. Are you ready to see the final piece? I'm absolutely in love with this stencil and since using it for the first time, I have created so many projects with it already. You'll have to go and view some of my other videos to see what else I've done with it. The possibilities really are endless as you can use different parts of the stencils in different ways on each project. I'm also so in love with this colour combination. What do you think to the finished piece? I'd love to know your thoughts so please do leave a comment and let me know what type of furniture you'd like to see me use this stencil on next as it certainly is one that I just cannot put down. Thank you so much for watching our latest tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. If you'd like to see more, then you can subscribe to our channel to get notified when I post my next video. I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.